This is James on the Fire Hall TV in association with Matt Jim Marbell. With me, I've got Leon McKenzie at the final press conference day ahead of his fight against Kelvin Young on the George Groves undercard. How are you feeling, Leon? Feeling great, you know. This is it now, isn't it, Jay? You know, we've come a long way from from day one in uh, your call. Um, this is what we've been working hard for. All the hard work's done. I can't wait to, to, to get in and, and fight at this platform. I mean, I know I've spoken to you before about this, but you've, you've really dreamt about getting yourself in contention to be on the big TV cards, and you've gone about it the right way, as you said, working your way up from the small hall, from your call, to get to this moment. So, what, what, how does it feel? What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great, but it's one of them, Jay, where I've, uh, I think in a, anything you do in life, you have to you have to gain that respect. Um, and I've had to do, do the hard way. Obviously, the football background has obviously been a been a ma massive part. But you know, now people are, are talking. People people are saying like, you know what, Leon can fight. Um, and that for me is a, an achievement in itself. Now it's just about upping the levels and going where I need to go. It's a mad mentality when you feel you've gained the respect of your peers and sort of people around you. That gives you a sort of inner confidence in itself, doesn't it? And that sort of yeah. that, that belief that you are doing something right and, and you are in the right place. Yeah, I think so. Again, this is not an easy sport. This is real, real hard. Um, I'm not overlooking Kelvin Young. I, I feel like it will be a tough fight. But I'm just, you know, more than ready to, to, to do what I do. We're, we're, we're good at what we do and um, we've trained really hard. Kelvin mentioned about obviously his young kids will be at home watching him, that's what motivates him. Sure. What motivates you coming into this sort of fight now? Likewise really, um, I've got five beautiful children. Um, I don't need that much more motivation than that. Um, and also, also my journey is just a little bit different in regards of, you know, I know what I've been through. In, in personal, uh, in my personal life, um, and every day, um, you know, getting up for me in the morning is, is a, you know, is sometimes a battle in itself. And for me to to be able to do that and do what I'm doing, it's it's, it's, a, it's a big deal for me. So, you know, my motivation is is my children um, and uh, being able to succeed succeed in what I'm doing. If you come through this, potentially you're on the plus with some massive fights in the super middleweight division. With having the McKenzie name as well and the history of boxing and the legacy, it's only probably a matter of time before people start to get behind your story a little bit more and get to that next level. Are you open to them sort of domestic clashes if you come through this, them sort of fights, that, them, them breakout fights that so people will know who you are? Yeah, why not? Um, again, I, I made my name in football. Um, and I'm potentially making my name in boxing um, and that's all I can do, that's all I can do. Uh, it's all about them domestic clashes and fights. Time's not on my side, let's not get that wrong, you know, it's not. But each fight we're progressing well and I, I, like I say, this next situation comes Saturday and I'll do what I do. You say time's not younger on your side, I'm not on your side, but you look younger than myself and Coogan, so I don't know what's quite going on. I need to get some I'll tell you what's going DNA on. I told you, I told you, like, when I say special DNA, it's not from a big-headed, profound sort of way. It's, it's more just, there's something, there's not a lot of people that can do what I'm doing, is what I'm saying, at my age. I mean, your dad held the English title, Duke McKenzie. We, we can spend all day listing the honours that he won as a professional, being a former world champion. What sort of inspiration and... What do you sort of take away? I know you're your own man and you're running your own race, but what do you sort of take away from their experiences which sort of helps you push forward in the, in the aspect of where you're going? They, they had their journeys. Like my dad's a former British European champion, Duke's a former three-time world champion at three different weights. That's, you know, they've achieved what they've achieved in their own lives and stories. This is my story. Um, they're my dad, that's my dad, that's my uncle. Um, but the reality is, they couldn't do what I'm doing though. As much as they've achieved what they've achieved. And of course they're aspiring. I think that's why I'm able to do what I'm doing. I'm just uh, privileged and, and uh, you know, I believe that in life, when you want something, do what you do to get it. Very talented family, Mackenzie. So is there any other family members you want to talk about while we're here on? Anyone you want to make up, bring up or mention? Not really me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, mate? <laughs> what? Hold on a minute, mate. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I keep you keep mentioning a particular family member, but I just it's an imposter or something. I don't know what's happening. When you saw the imposter as you put him on telly, what was your initial first reaction? In regards, 
I was thinking, who, who is this person? I've, I've never seen him in my life. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not going to go on too much about it. If you know, you should know. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Listen, Leon, thank you for giving me some of your time today. I really appreciate it, mate. Always, man. Love. And, um, we look forward to a good contest Saturday. Yeah, thank yeah, I'll do my much. best. I'll do my best.